Hello, this is Sonia from My Happy Space. Welcome back at my channel. This is an exciting day again. It's my new release for the month of February. My printables in my Etsy shop. I try to release at least one printable every month. Sometimes I have a little devotional with it, sometimes not. Um, so this month, yet again, I've got a little devotional with my Bible journey printables, which I'll show you in a minute. And the printables is called Love Ease. And it is almost, almost that blank statement, what is love? If you have to give a definition of love, what will it be? We looked at the dictionary definition. We looked at the definition with the Bible. And Jesus tells what love is. And it plays in the sense that love was showed by action and not by a feeling. So it's a two-page little devotional. So um, you, there's questions. There's some place for you to write in if you want. Or you can just basically... Print it at, at as big or small as you want and just use it and uh, separately as your devotional. So that's how that looks. And then the devotional has some journaling cards, which I'm going to try to make a little mini booklet. So it's got this page with the various verses we're looking on, definition of love, the verses, and also obviously some journaling space for you. So that's the one page. Second page is the sort of beautiful icons which you can use in your Bible journaling or as a cover of one of your mini big booklets which I'm going to use. So that is the sort of the journaling cards. Then you've got the second page of normal journaling cards with another um, verses as prompts and some journaling space which you can use. And then you've got two pages of ephemera and I love this beautiful um, colors, obviously, if Valentine's and pink and reds and blues are my favorite colors. So I love this Bible. And I think I've got it open here at Lamentations 3, verse 22 to 23. That says, His mercies are new every morning with the flowers bursting out. A little love letter from God with Romans 5, 8. Um, that says, but God shows his love for us that he died for us on the cross. Another little um, an envelope with a love letter with flowers bursting out. These titles, love, hearts, and beautiful flowers. And then here you've got your journaling prompts, which you can use. And that's the second ephemera page with another envelope with flowers. Another envelope with a verse in Ephesians 1 verse 4 that he lavished our life upon us. Another book with flowers bursting out on. I, I made these little biscuits, which looks like almost it's icing, ice, iced on. And then it's got these... Um, words on that love is chosen x o x o true love and love is with some more journaling um, or verse prompts and some tabs and then if you have sort of clear um, um clear sticker paper you can print and these will be nice little art marks you can use and then i've got some pattern paper some just fun polka dot pink tone and tone your tone and tone and pink and um, blue here for you and then I've got pattern paper with lots of hearts. Love this one. And then this one also with faint writing, um, Bible writing um, limitations. You can't really see it, but it's just, uh, it gives you an um, idea of a script of a letter. And yeah, this is probably my favorite pattern paper. So that is um, the printables for February. It's obviously in my Etsy shop and I will link it down below. I'm going to cut everything out while I'm going to cut everything out. I'm going to think about my little mini booklet I'm going to make. I think I'm, I'm thinking of doing it a Constantina type of mini booklet that's been going on quite a lot in the crafting community at the moment. I might do it a little bit different. So yeah, so I'm going to put you on fast forward and we're going to put this little mini booklet book together. And during the month of um, February, I can work through my devotional and I can answer the questions on my mini devotional obviously you can use it as whatever you want to do it if you want to use it in your bible or make faith day cards would be very good also i might actually do that also during the month so yeah um yeah let's see what we can come up with okay i'm back it's two days later we have a bit of a heat wave here in south africa it is so so hot it's about in the mid 30 um celsius degrees celsius um so it's very very hot and my craft room is so hot. It's sort of, there is no really uh, place where air can come in and ventilation. And it doesn't really help if I put a fan on. So I've been putting off this V 
video for the whole weekend because it's been too hot but now i have to do it it's cooled it a little bit more down here so as you can see i have cut all my things out i've made the size of my little mini concertina booklet the size i want now let me see i'm just going to get a ruler to tell you more or less what size it is okay it is three and a half inches by four inches and then the plan is that I put one of these journaling cards or you can mount these journaling cards on it. If you want to make it bigger, you can. I wonder if I was not needed to make it a little bit bigger because it's a bit difficult putting ephemera with it. But um, yeah, obviously, if you don't mind hanging things over, that would be okay. It's just the wrong way like that. So I've done that and I've pulled some things in my stash like pom-poms and lace and things like that. I've got my washi tape, which I'm going to use to make the concertina folder with, or the concertina book with. I've got some doilies, which I have, and doilies, which is part of my printables in my Etsy shop. So if you're ever looking for doilies, um, you can just go to my Etsy shop. I've got almost all the colors there are, and then I've got some sort of real doilies. And then I've got, obviously, my leftover papers, which I've cut and which I can use for something else, for backing and things like that. So basically, I'm going to start with these papers back to back. It doesn't really matter in what order I'm going to do. So I'm still deciding if I, I think I'm going to round the corners also. I'll, I'll decide still to do that. But what I'm going to do, it, as I said, I'm going to start doing that, putting it back to back. What I'm going to do also is I'm going to maybe keep it a pocket. So if I want to pop things in, I can. But first of all, I just need to see if, if it's the right way up so obviously when i do a pop pocket i'll just um do some glue here so i just put a small strip of glue here and uh, i can actually make the glue a little bit higher up there so when i put a journaling card in there it doesn't go to the bottom so so this is my first book and obviously they will be overlapping that's just my how it goes I'll just cut the overlapping off so so I've got my first one done so I'm going to put the rest on top of each other and then we will continue with this okay so I've, I've done the booklets and I think I am going to punch the corners it just gives to me a more finishing look I want this paper to be at the top so if I'm going to make the concertina, it's going to be, obviously, this is going to be my first page. So I'm going to keep it like that. So you can do it two ways. Obviously, you can use washi tape, which I think almost I'm going to use. I'm going to use this washi tape, I think. This has got little hearts on. And it's a good quality washi tape. Now, what you can also do is you can take some of your leftover papers. And you can maybe... Just take one strip. I think the easiest bit will just be to take about a, let's see, what, how, a little bit more than a, an inch or maybe an inch. Let's cut it to an inch. And then you can score it again. Okay. So basically, you can connect your little booklet like this. It will probably work better if you've got double-sided paper, so the white won't come in. So you will have it like this, and it will be like this, and it will be like this. But as I said, I think I'm going to use washi tape because we, as crafters, always want to use up our washi tape. And I think this is a good opportunity to do it. So, obviously, a good quality washi tape will, will work. I might even put some glue. Let me just now think. I must just remember, yeah, this is the one I want at the back. So I'm going to put a little bit of glue. I'm first going to put it just, just a little bit apart very slightly so it can bend 
then I'm going to put a little bit of glue there. I'm not going to put the whole spine, the washi tape. It's just going to be sort of a hint in the middle. I'm going to cut it. Better to make the washi tape longer than the um, glue because then you at least know the glue is covered then obviously when you turn it around you do it also again here Okay, so I've done, I just want to show you how I'm going to do the end. So basically, it's this flipping on top of each other. And then to make, I want to make it closer, so I need to have a hole here. So basically, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to obviously make sure that this one opens to that flap. So I can have both my holes there. So I hope that makes sense. So I'm just going to connect that there. My hands, it's not full of blood or paint. It's just I had a cut in my feet. So I tried to put Makiro crumb, crumb on. I don't know if you know what Makiro crumb is like. We call it also monkey blood. Yes, it's just to obviously clean a wound. There you go. Okay, so we've got the two holes in there. Now let's see what is going to look good. I've got this the rick rack, so I think actually that will look quite nice. So I'm just going to put that through there. And now I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a nice big um, knot in there. How long does it need to be? Let's cut it fairly long so we can make a bow if we want. Okay. Then I'm just going to get the same length, more or less. Just make enough for the for the knot. Okay. Let's work at our cover. So I was thinking of putting oh, this one maybe up there, but with a blue doily. So Okay, <clears throat> I'm going to stick with that one. Okay, so this is the cover. Now what you can do is you can put a journey card in there. Okay, so I've done the one side now. So I'll do a little bit with the other side also. That's the cover. That's that side. I put a little button on there. Um, doily, one of these rick rack. A journey card with a little clip in. Another verse with these little cute cookies, biscuits. Another journey card with a little peck there. And then there at the end. So now I'm going to start at the back. So I've loved this one, but it might be a little bit too busy. Let's see. Maybe something like this. Let's put a doily down, a blue one maybe. Or 
Well, let's see. Maybe we can do better than that. Maybe this one. This one. I actually like that. So, so we put that one down. It's nice to use double sided tape just to give it a little bit of dimension. Maybe we can put a uh, word fetty there. Um, let's see. Oh no, Ephesians 1 verse 1. If you see things flying about, I've got my fan on because, as I said, it's so hot. I can hardly bear being in here. Okay, so that's the back. I tried to make sort of a scripture card, obviously a verse. If I have more verses, let me just go for here. Okay, so I'll put that one there. I can maybe use some of these cards for backing. Just to give a little bit more interest. Why not? And then... Let's see if we can put something else here. Maybe something like this. Oh, there's already that, so maybe not. Maybe a little flower there at the middle. That's cute. Maybe do that. There you go. The next one, we can maybe put a icon again something like oh, maybe that one yeah let's do that one but let's put um, okay let's see how that's gonna look yeah I think that's gonna look nice and let's put that on some foam tape again go now what we can do is here a verse again but I think maybe we can put something more also on here like a red or blue paper clip and I wonder if we can't put some pink pom-poms here, blue pom-poms. The nice thing about this is you can take all the things out. You don't have to leave it on here. So with other words, it, even if you put these things on, it won't be bulky because if you write it, it will lie flat and you can take the journaling cards out also. So I'm just going to put some fabric glue down. I got recently from um, this fabric scissors for myself and I put I think I saw it from with Barbara I put a uh, fabric around it so I can remember this is my fabric scissors and it really works sometimes when I pick it up by accident to cut paper when the moment I see that um, fabric around it I just stop myself okay and that's the last one you can obviously continue continue with this as long as you want. I wonder if I shouldn't put a nice flower there at the back. So what I'm going to do is now I'm just going to put the final touches on, like put the journey cards in, and see what how I can still decorate it, and then obviously I will give you a flip through. Okay, my booklet is done. I love how it turned out. So I've just made a knot there and a bow. So this is my first page. 
I haven't made really much changes. I don't know if you've seen me put the little button there. And then each of them I've made a journaling card. So one side you can write on and the one side it's just a verse. So that pops in there. So um, that there. I think I've added that to it. Love that. And now I've, that is a journaling card which I just punched a circle in and put a little um, button in there. And I've put a button there also. So that is the back. We've, I think we've done that together. I've put a little button there, as you know. And these cards, I've just used these little biscuits as, as, um, as tabs to take out. They're a bit snug, but you know, it's not something you can take out regularly. And then there, the pom poms on it. And what I've done is also this was a wooden piece, so I just colored a little bit with some districts oxide and spun sugar just to make it not um, brown so it's pink there and then that is the beginning again so this is how it looks this side love how it turned out maybe i'll just zoom out again so this is how it turns out like this and this is that side you can obviously continue as long as you want um i could have made loads more you can always add later also but obviously i have already done my my handles or my my closure so this is how my little beloved booklet booklet look i'm looking forward to work through it um during the month with my devotional and i can add my notes in there i'm definitely probably going to do a bible journey entry also so as I said, all the details is linked but down below if you're interested in picking that up. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed um, watching me make this. Um, I hope you're inspired. May February be a wonderful month of you rediscovering how much God loves you and what true love is really about. And yeah, have a fantastic day. And if you like this video, please give it a like. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so. And remember, if you want to pick up my free devotional, you've got till the 31st of January still to do it you can just watch my previous video i will also put the link up here for the video and link it down below so yeah have a great day bye bye